When to Harvest Winter Forage Research presented here was conducted on a number of farms and research facilities across New York. It could not have happened without the farmers, Extension Pro Dairy Specialist, Dr. Kettering's Cornell staff, and especially the funding of the New York Farm Viability Institute. Winter forage has been expanding rapidly across the U.S. and Canada. Managing it for high forage yields gives all the cover crop benefits to the soil and environment while producing premier quality forage. It is a cover crop on steroids. Successful dairy livestock farms grow energy, protein, digestible fiber in sufficient amounts and low cost. Winter forage, especially triticale, fits all these criteria. The forage produces for the high end fresh cows to maximize production in a high forage diet. Both farmers and nutritionists report timely harvested winter triticale forage when included in the diet keeps the cows milking in hot weather, minimizing the summer slump problem. All this while increasing the dry matter yield harvested by 25 to 35 percent. Years of research has clearly shown the proven forage quality of winter triticale. Total track neutral detergent fiber digestibility, a measure of forage quality, found that average corn silage and alfalfa silage was 42. Good corn silage and alfalfa silage was 48. Timely harvested winter triticale forage silage was 66. Good feed indeed. Fermented samples from our research found crude protein can be 20% if proper nitrogen and critical sulfur are applied. This is equal or even exceeds what many hay crop silages produce. Net energy of lactation with proper harvest and siling techniques can be 0.75, approaching corn silage levels. So is winter forage a replacement for corn silage or alfalfa haylage? The answer is yes, it can replace either or both. The previous feed quality can only be achieved by timely and proper harvest techniques. We will cover proper harvest techniques in a future presentation. Now we will focus on the critical time of harvest. Dr. Cherney at Cornell University found stage of growth has a bigger effect on forage quality than the species of winter grain chosen. With winter forage, timeliness is crucial. For quality winter forage, memorize this picture. Stage eight is when there's still a leaf rolled and emerging from the shoot. This is too early to harvest. Stage nine is when the last leaf has fully emerged and unrolled with no more leaves to emerge. The head can be felt in the stem just below the last leaf. In our research, we saw little or no quality change between stage eight, which occurred on a Thursday, and stage nine, which occurred the following Tuesday. There was a 35% yield increase in that time span. Stage 10 is the boot stage, where we used to harvest when we were milking 12,000 pounds per cow. Now we are pushing 30,000 pounds per cow. We need to harvest at the higher quality at stage 9. If you need quality forage and are at stage 8, but facing a week of warm and rainy weather, go ahead and harvest, rather than risking a delay. Preliminary work at Cornell University found that triticale loses relative feed quality, the red line, slightly slower than does rye or wheat at optimum flag leaf stage of harvest. A very important wild card in timing winter forage harvest is the weather. In our 2010 research, the red line, quality decreased at a fairly rapid steady rate as the season went on. In 2013 research, the green line, the quality held to the point that boot stage was almost as good as flag leaf stage of 2010. The reason for this is temperature. In 2013, at flag leaf time of May 13th, the temperature, especially night temperatures, were very cold. It was so cold that two hours north of the research farm, they had up to three feet of snow. This cold both delays maturity and conserves overnight the energy produced during the day. Thus, under these circumstances, a later harvest still could be high quality. If weather forces you to miss the harvest window entirely, the forage quality at late boot through milk stage is intermediate on protein, moderate on energy, a digestibility that will not inhibit intake for good heifer growth without getting the heifer's fat. 
so we can still use the forage. Winter triticale is a high yielding, very high quality crop. To get this quality to the mouth of the animal, you need to use wide swath same day haylage harvest system. This will be discussed in future presentation. For further information, go to the website advancedagsys.com. Thank you.